Good afternoon, Miss Archer. that you go through the training course before embarking on your first... If you want to skip training, I won't stop you, but... Would you like me to call out the target? That would be lovely. To your left, on the far balcony. On your left, coming out the door on the nearest balcony. He's down! I'm in position. To your left, on the far balcony. Here he comes. Get ready. On your left, coming around the building. You just lost yourself a customer! This guy is too much. Second story window, near right. Not again! Where On your left. are you? <laughs> Second story window, far right. Get a fire quickly before the thieves swoop in like vultures. Second story window, from down the street. On your left. Second story window, near right. Second story window. On your right, coming around the building. Second story window. Left. You're going to meet your maker! You need a monkey. Get everybody down low! Hello? Mr. Volkov said the girl was... Is someone there? Hello? Who is there? Is someone there? Maybe I'm hearing should things. probably stop ingesting poison agents. Who is here? Who is there? 
there. Is someone there? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be watching the front gate? The run out of cigarettes. Someone there! Get down, everybody! Run out of cigarettes. Someone there. Who is there? Who is there? Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Did she really say that to you? Yeah, can you believe it? So what did you do? Are you there? Shh! I thought I heard something. I thought I heard someone. Shh! I thought I heard something. <laughs> what was it? Hmm. Who is there? Did you hear that? Who is it? Who is this here? Who is it? Who is this here? Yeah, what was that? Did you hear that? What's this? Is someone there? I thought I heard someone. Who is it? Where are you? This isn't going to be easy. Fortunately. Who is it? Who is this here? Now we need to move back up. Don't think you're hiding Shh. this fool. I, I, I know exactly where you are. Who is this here? Could have sworn I heard something over there. What's this? Yeah, maybe I just heard things.
Excuse me, do you mind if I borrow that parachute? Get away from me! These cramps are killing me. Hello, big boy. Well, hello there. It sure is crowded tonight. It usually is. Perhaps it's just me, but I thought the music was terrible. The show ended early tonight. There she comes! Oh, no, please! Don't shoot! What's going on? Don't yeah, I don't think I don't know! This looks like the place. I'm not interested in getting shot. No!
Head for the roof. They won't expect that. Oh, <laughs> Any luck? What have we here? Sergeant Magnus Armstrong. How do you like to be swept off your feet? Yes? Hello, my name is Mia Haig. I have an appointment with Baron de Mont. No, you don't. Good day. Wait. What is it? I really do have an appointment. No, you really do not. His lordship indulges appointments exclusively on Friday mornings between 11 and 11.15 a.m. at the offices of Dumas Industrial Enterprises. Ergo, you do not have an appointment for today. So sorry. Are you still here? I'm from Men of Influence magazine. <clears throat> so? I was hoping to profile Baron de Maw for our Perfect Lives series. Each month we cover a different person whose lifestyle and disposition exemplify perfect living. And you wish to include his lordship in this... series? Yes. The idea is to penetrate the myth and get to know the man. His pastimes, his ambitions, his accomplishments, the things that make him tick. I see. He's a model aristocrat. Ah. Someone our readers can look up to. Of course. Will you excuse me for a moment, Miss Haig? I don't think I could forgive myself if I were to let this sublime opportunity pass by. I will discuss your request with his lordship and return presently with his answer. Thank you. Please, wait here. I shan't be a moment. Very well. His lordship has agreed to see you. Excellent. This should be amusing. What do you mean? Nothing. Follow me, please. Miss Haig, sir. Splendid. Show her in. I'll leave you to your interview, darling. I'll be shopping for the rest of the afternoon. Yes, yes. Have a marvellous time, Chipmunk. 
Don't call me that. As you wish, my love. Pip pip. He's rather larger than I expected. Ah yes, he's a big bundle of charisma and intelligence. If you're lucky, perhaps he'll regale you with his rousing safari adventures. Good day, Baron de Mor. Goodness, had I known you would be so sumptuous, I might have preened. Care for a drink? No, thank you. It's a little early for me. Well, I'll indulge for us both in that case. I hope you'll pardon me for saying so, but you're a ravishing girl, simply ravishing. That's very kind of you. I'm sure your wife feels absolutely spoiled by your abundant charm. Oh, she's a lucky old crow. I'll grant you that. Now then, Giles tells me you want to profile me for this magazine of yours. Men of influence, was it? Yes. Each issue we cover a different person in our Perfect Lives series, someone whose lifestyle and achievements serve as inspiration for our readers. Jolly good! You've come to the right place. That will be all, Giles. Actually, sir, I thought it might be worthwhile for me to stay, in case the young lady should desire anything at all. Splendid idea, Pip Pip. Yes, sir. I'll be right over here if you require anything, Miss Hague. Thank you, Baron de Mor. Do you mind if I record our interview? I'd rather devote my attention to you than to my notepad. And who could blame you? Record away, my dear.、Uh, so then, where shall we begin? Clearly, it takes a savvy, intelligent individual to succeed in business the way you have. What's your secret? Well, I、uh, suppose it takes a solid appreciation of、uh, the fundamentals of business success. <laughs> Once you have that, the rest is easy. Many men with such immense wealth succumb to sloth or immoderation. How do you keep yourself productive and effectual in the face of such constant temptation? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, an ingenious question. Well, you see, a man has certain choices he can make. Some choices are wise ones, and some are not. So I suppose you could say that making wise choices is an important step in one's tireless quest for、uh, wisdom. I'm sure a man of your education is as broadly read as he is charming. What works of literature have you found most influential? Ah, yes,、uh, literature, one of my favourite subjects. I've always said that to read is to. Experience the literary wisdom of wise men. Very well said. And who are some of your favourite authors? Hemingway, Melville, Dostoevsky. Precisely. Good guess.、Uh, shall we proceed to the next question? I noticed you have quite a collection of fine art about the place. Who are some of your favourite painters? Oh, I like them all. But surely there must be one or two whose work stands out for you. Certainly, I.、Uh, well, Fipstein is probably my favourite. I'm not familiar with his work. Not many people are. It's quite smashing. I'm sure you'd love it. What movement? Excuse me. Is he an impressionist, surrealist, constructivist, pointillist? Yeah, a little of everything, actually. He's quite versatile. Really. Do you have any of his work about? Normally, yes, but it's out being cleaned. Cleaned? Yes, those old paintings get so dusty. Ah. If you were stranded on a desert island, what piece of music would you most want to have with you? Music? Well, anything by Picasso, of course. Pablo Picasso? Yes, that's the chap. The painter. Uh, yes, he was also quite a musician. I wasn't aware. Next. I understand that yours is a steadfastly Episcopal lineage. How does your unswerving faith influence your day-to-day -day life? This should be good. Well, you see, faith is. Hmm. How shall I put it? Faith is. Oh, simply put, faith. 
I'm sure plenty of other great men have had keen things to say about faith. Why don't you be a dear and just quote one of them? Smashing idea. How has your approach to running Dumas Industrial Enterprises differed from your late father's? I'm not really sure what approach my father used, but I like to run things strictly by the book. By the book? Yes, you know, according to policy. But whose policies? I'm afraid that information is strictly classified. Next. Is there a message you'd like to share with your many admirers? Good hunting, my humble devotees. Well, that's all the questions I prepared. I must confess, I'm positive this will be our most popular Perfect Lives installment yet. Oh, you think so? Absolutely. Rarely does nature combine so many excellent qualities in one man. Our readers will be fascinated, and maybe even a bit envious. One can hardly blame them. What I don't understand is where such a busy man finds the time to be a successful business tycoon, loving husband, daring hunter, astute philosopher, cultivated humorist, etc. Aren't you overwhelmed? Well, one learns to delegate. For example, although you wouldn't guess it, I'm only peripherally involved with Dumas Enterprises these days, strictly in an advisory capacity, you see, to keep the company on track. How ingenious. Oh, well, I have my moments. But isn't it an awful risk to hand over operations to someone less accomplished in the subtleties of enterprise than yourself? Actually, it's safer that way. Really? Yes, you see, in my experience, the less one knows about running a business, the less he can screw up. I make all the important decisions. The rest is just, you know, paperwork. Still, you wouldn't want your competitors getting their hands on that paperwork. Oh, quite true. But we have a very large safe in which to store it. Safes can be cracked. It's not a concern. Why not? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss such matters, even with a young lady as charming as yourself. Thank you for your time, Baron de Maul. It's been an eye-opening experience. I'm happy to oblige. Uh, never turn your back on a worthy cause, I always say. A worthy meal is more like it. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Here we have the Sphinx. We've added an infrared. Excellent. What? with the extra security. Not that up. Goodman, where's that diversion?
There's no disgrace in giving. Do the right thing. Come on, Adrian, come out. Hey, Delaney, you got a phone call. Who is it? Sounds like your girlfriend. Uh, tell her I'm out on patrol. You sure?
to advanced field. It you they are live. So watch your Just got word that the subs. <laughs>
here! Wait for me! So I hear Johnny Rommel's coming in tonight. Really? I thought he was. Where are you?
Someone over there. Hello? Do you have any uh, eights? Ha! What, oh, is there anyone there? Uh... Is there anyone there? Oh, a good shot, are you? Hello? Yes, yes. I'm not going to hide down here if it's all the same to you. I'm not interested in
inside. Hurry. Get off the streets. Get inside now. Get inside. Get off the streets. Hurry. Get inside. Get off the streets. Get inside. Get inside now. Who is it? Get inside. Now that you have the lip...